Good evening, YouTubers and fellow reloading fans and aficionados. Cheers. It's the beginning of the week, or rather the end of the first of the beginning of the week. So I think we should end it with a little tea. And uh, this is video three tonight. So who knows which one will make it up to the web and in what order. Methinks this one. So, this is part of the annealing continuation. And this is the burns pencil torch that came with my EP Integrations annealer. Works perfectly fine. Uh, I was sniffing through videos, actually before I bought my EP Integrations annealer, and folks were talking about, especially the folks that had the annealies, or anneal EZ, or however the heck you pronounce that particular machine. And they were talking about getting a finer pencil torch tip or point. Um, and I'm guessing because it was melting all their plastic parts and their whatever the gears and grabbers or whatever they're called. So uh, I am going to measure the flame and what I've been told, especially by uh, other folks and uh, as well as Todd from EP Integrations, is I want about an inch. So I'm going to shoot for an inch and a quarter. I want about an inch or so flame. So I'm going to just shoot for an inch and a quarter. And we're going to see, and I have to sneeze. Achoo! Oh, yeah, because it is allergy season everywhere. So we're going to see what kind of flame that is. And you know what? I think I might even bust out the uh, temperature gauge. So uh, let me pause for a second and uh, then we can actually measure the heat of the flame. So hang on one second, please. A few moments later. All right, so now we have our Lyman thermometer. And let's go ahead and make sure that's working. Uh, we want Fahrenheit, or I want Fahrenheit, and let's see what I'm... Oh, we still have a little old... Uh, let's see, so obviously it's working, and I am uh, I should be in the 90s. Let's get it up to... All right, we know it works. All right, so I'm going to move this off to the side, because Murphy's Law says the flame will be so big I will burn my stuff. And I don't want to burn my stuff. I have this homemade pad, or at least this backing, with inch increments. One inch, two inch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I thought the numbers looked a little Egyptian. All right. So we will decap. Polished brass. And we will start with the EP Integrations, or rather the burns Pencil Torch. And Murphy's Law says that I will need to adjust my... So we will get this so that uh, we're going to do that adjustment. So for each of them, I'll run a parallel or as parallel. Obviously, I'll tilt it down so you can see. Uh, I'll probably put the uh, the edge of the pencil brass, which looks to be identically long, which is at two inches, just under two inches. So I will start the flame uh, from you know something like that. Uh, hopefully not burn this up. All right, so we will start with the burns matic and I will shoot for a one and a quarter inch flame. I better finish my tea. So as not to have any, any problemos. All right, so we have flame, and I am going to say that is an inch and a half. I'm going to say that is still 
more than my inch and a quarter. There is my inch and a quarter. All right, so I'm going to turn the lights off and we will see where I said I was going to put it back here. So it looks like for the burns o -matic, I'm seeing roughly at the five inch uh at the five inch mark and i also had another black piece of plastic that i don't know if that will pick it up any different and no, that doesn't look like it all right so we now have we are turning this on and i am going to turn the lights on so as not to do something stupid so i'm going to say All right, that's, you can hopefully see that. Try not to burn anything. And we're going to put that right at the edge of the tip. And we now have like 1,200 degrees if we were to let that uh, get super super hot hopefully I didn't F that up all right so my pencil flame at an inch and a quarter gave me 1200 ish when this started to get uh, quite hot oh it looks like I burned some of the, the uh, obviously the silver off silver I wish that's a Freudian slip. I wish it was gold. Some lead. The lead has been burned off because I think lead is seven, seven hundred ish melting point or so. All right, that's bled out. All right, we are done with that pencil. We're now going to go to the. Um, this is who puts this out? This is the Mag Torch MT two hundred C also listed as a pencil torch. Uh, let me change my setting here to get it somewhat comparable. All right, so that's cool. We will now turn this on. And that's bigger than I would want. So we're going to go down to... There's my little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than that. A little bit bigger than that. There's my inch and a quarter. We will turn the lights off. And see where we come in. We are coming in roughly at the four less than the four so i'm going to say three you know the flame uh, actually let me take that back we said we were going to start at the edge of the brass so we are hmm, about at the five so i would call that uh, even steven ish and I don't know if you can see a difference in the pencilness of the flame. And we'll leave this in here and see how quickly it heats up. Uh, and it looks like... Looks like it's not heating up as quick. There's my 1200 degrees and I will have to re-watch this video to see if in fact it did heat up as quick. Um, so I'm going to say that uh, based on what I've seen, unless I rewatch the video and it changes my mind, I'm going to say that uh, this was, uh, for all practical purposes, a wash. Um, both pencil, uh, I mean, you can see a little bit uh, slightly smaller diameter on the mag torch than on the burns matic but... Uh, I would not, uh, 
I would not say by any huge degree that the burns o matic is not a pencil torch. So uh, for those folks who have uh, said that this is a better pencil torch than the burns o matic uh, I'm not seeing it so much, but I'll go back and look at my less than scientific uh, measurement tool. Uh, again, measuring from roughly there, so the first two inches. So the flame on both came out to right about five inches, maybe a little less. I'll look at the intensity of the flame uh, because obviously that would make a difference when uh, when the flame is hitting a particular, uh, you know, the throat of the uh, bottleneck brass. Uh, the sharper the point, the less, uh, especially the yellow flame, then it wouldn't um, encompass as much of the brass uh, or anneal down the neck of the brass as much because my goal would be to keep it as close to the shoulder as possible but um, at this point without watching the video and seeing the difference in the flames because uh, I'll be able to do some screenshots and take some pictures uh, of the actual length of the flame with the blue flame and the uh, and the yellow flame the full length of the flame and see if there's anything that would justify using uh, the mag torch over the burns matic but right now I'm looking at uh, potentially a wash and the whole temperature thing is probably psychosomatic. Let me see if that's, that's not hot anymore. And I always take my batteries out of this thing. So I would say that uh, for the purposes of this, um, we're kind of looking at a wash. So um, Todd, good stuff in terms of sending out the uh, a quality product with your quality product so uh, again this is just me tinkering and uh, I don't think uh, there's anything at all wrong with the burns matic pencil torch uh, again I will watch the results and see if there's any differences but he thinks there's not right now so that's about all take care folks